Ravenclaw. Ravenclaws value learning and creativity. They are motivated by often learning for the sake of learning or the need to express themselves no matter what. However, they are not always good students. You know that you know somebody who's plenty smart but who sucks at school. Even though the name is Ravenclaw, the mascot is an eagle and the colors are blue and bronze not blue and gray like in the movies and obviously I chose blue and bronze because it better fit my vision. Their bird associations is what led me to this hazy winged shadow thing and everything else was really to complement that. Can you even see that I'm covered in glitter? I can't tell if you can tell but I'm covered in glitter. I literally have like points. You saw it. It's a spray can of glitter. So I chose glitter because that always reminds me of airy, creative-minded people for some reason. And metallics to me always represent the sharp mind. Okay, so finally brush review. These look like they're obviously supposed to be dupes for the storybook cosmetic brushes, but they're not the same. They're a little different. Mostly the difference is that these are shaped like specific Harry Potter ones. I'm sure you can recognize them already. And the other, the name brand ones are not. You have the Elder Wand, of course. <laughs> then Voldemort, Harry, Hermione, and I'm pretty sure Ron. I couldn't figure out where my sister got them from because I guess it was like an up and down website or whatever, whatever but I googled them and you can purchase them at mymakeupbrushset.com. So they're more affordable than the Storybooks cosmetic brushes and yet also very excellent quality. They're made out of metal, so they're like, they're sturdy, they feel nice. They have very soft synthetic bristles, which makes them blend literally like magic. Pun kind of intended, but also for real. I'll start with the best, the Elder Wand. So I already touched on this in my Hufflepuff video, but this is my favorite one. It is very soft and has a very diffuse brush head, so it's really good at blending out, like blowing out, blending out really nicely. It's not going to be the kind of brush that you pack on bold color with because it's meant for blending, softening, which it's amazing at. And honestly, I don't have any brushes like this. It, it can't be beat. I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs>
Why did I say that? Moving on. So let's move on to Ron. It's kind of a quite fat angled brush. Again, very soft, very diffuse. I've been using it to pack shadows on because it will pack them on, but it will also keep them nice and even. It won't lay them down patchy, which I have a problem with a lot of the time. It's great. Harry's wand is a little pencil brush. Great for shadow under the eye. Pretty straightforward. Voldemort's wand is shaped kind of like, what are these called? I don't remember what they're called. Flat brush. <laughs> and it's really good for cleaning up line edges or cutting your crease or probably even packing shadow on the lid. It's, again, multifunctional. And then Hermione's wand is a pretty sharp angled brush. It's really good for blending out lines. Like last look, I used it to blend out the tail of my eyeliner. But honestly, you can use any of these for anything. I know the point of them is probably to be like collector's items or whatever, but they're really functional and they're quite quality, so I'm going to keep using them. Especially the Elder Wand. I haven't said it 500 times already. So yeah, see you for the best week next week.